beauty you can sleep in. I'm Laura Ray, and I want to show you the inspiration for this video. It's this brand new product from Youth For You that's a blush, and they say that it's healthy and you can sleep in it, and you don't need to worry about getting it off of your skin. The cool thing about this is it changes with the, your own pH of your skin. So it's going to look a little bit different on everyone. I thought I would put it on. Now, I do have some blush. I was filming a video, but I still feel like you'll be able to see it. This is a clear liquid. I'll just put like three dots here so you can see it. You can, I can already see it changing. And then I'm just going to pounce it into the skin. I've worn this a few times, and what I find is... It's really pretty amazing. Even though it was a pricier product, I do like that you can't see it on my skin as far as like detecting powder or anything. It doesn't look like another layer on top of my foundation. I like the color of it. I think it looks very natural. It has the look like I've been out at the beach outdoors. And a biggie for me is that it's not sticky. It dries down because many of these liquid products are sticky and it wouldn't be such a problem if my hair was shorter but with long hair and me having baby fine hair my hair sticks to sticky products very easily so this is just such a beautiful blush that has such great ingredients i wouldn't feel bad sleeping in it some of the products in this video are a little pricier, but I feel if they last a long time, like a couple of years, then it would be worth it if they're doing their job and they do it well. Now, this brand, Alterna, I've never tried before, but I've seen the Caviar Hair Care line for a very long time. I wanted to try this because this is a product you wear at night and wash your hair in the morning. This is their Restructuring Bond Repair and they promote it as an overnight serum. So last night, I put this in my hair. I put my hair up. I usually wear like a little covering at night over my hair so nothing gets on my pillow. And when I woke up in the morning, my hair did feel super soft, but it felt like it needed to be washed. It was my wash day anyway. So after I washed it this morning, I felt like my hair felt really soft. And so I'm happy with it so far. I'll get back to you. But another idea is one I've talked about before is maybe even taking like a marula oil. I bought one recently, an organic one from Amazon. Putting that in your hair overnight, I had good results with that. So putting something in your hair overnight can be a way to get rid of damage. I have a lot of damage to my hair because it's color treated and it will make your hair look so much healthier. Many products have come out this year that say overnight mask, and they're really not masks per se. I think of them more as maybe a little heavier moisturizer. And I am really into the K-Beauty moisturizers. I've found so many that are affordable. I've been using this one from COSRX. It's their ultimate nourishing rice overnight mask. I really love the texture of this. It isn't super heavy. I don't like super heavy because I feel like that's going to uh, weigh down my skin. But as you can see, it really holds on to the skin. It's not runny, but it sinks in beautifully. And I like the idea of the ingredients in this, maybe helping to keep my skin looking bright and hydrated. This is an overnight mask that I'm really enjoying. This is a new brand to me. One of you recommended Beauty of Josen for their sunscreen, and I really have enjoyed that. This is their eye cream. I always make sure to have an eye cream on. I didn't realize what an impact an eye cream would make until I started using one. I used to just bring my moisturizer up under the eyes, but I find that a lot of these eye creams just sink in better and they have great ingredients and you're using so little that they last me a very long time. This one is called Revive Eye Serum and it's got ginseng in it as well as retinol. I've really enjoyed this so far. Again, this is one that's a little newer to me and I will get back to you with updates about how I feel my under eyes look, but so far so good. This comes out or yellow more like you would see Retin-A or, or a retinol product, it has a little more of a Vaseline feel to it. So it's not an eye cream 
I feel that uh, is going to disappear and not be on in the morning. This has a little more staying power because of the ingredients in it, but so far I've really enjoyed it. Another product I love wearing to bed is this Kahai. This is their Wrinkle Bounce Multi Balm. I find sometimes with allergies, with just things in the environment, with the change of weather, my under eyes can get so dry. And these beauty balms are really big in the K-beauty world and I can see why. They're not heavy like a Vaseline. They sink in, they've got some great ingredients in them, but they have more staying power than just putting on eye cream. So I like to just go like this right under the eye and then tap it in. This also works great actually as a highlighter. If you want to put this on the cheekbone, it adds a little bit of highlight. I'll put it on the center of my nose here so you can see. But it adds some shimmer to the skin. But this works fantastic for at night. I wake up and my eyes are not dry. I tend to get drier eyes at night, I guess from the paddle fan and the air conditioning running. But this really keeps them moisturized. A big game changer for me has been my pillow. For the past couple of years, I've been using the Your Face Pillow. I've talked many times about it. They've been running it on sale off and on. So when I see it come on sale again, I'll do another post in the community post for you. But I also have a code, LARARAY10, that you can use at any time. But what was happening to me was I was getting lines in my face while I slept. I'm a side sleeper naturally, and I would wake up and have a crease. And that crease wouldn't go away right away like it would when I was younger. I might have a crease for a couple of hours. I would even get to school and go to wash my hands and see the crease still there. So the pillows get been an absolute game changer for me, as well as my satin pillowcase. All I have right now is a very inexpensive satin pillowcase. I don't feel you need an expensive silk one to get the benefits. When you have something satin, your face will move and you get uh, better mobility. Like even with your hair, if you are wearing it down at night, I usually put my hair up. But even with that, I used to get a lot of knots in the back from turning on a cotton pillowcase. So a satin pillowcase and a pillow that keeps you upright and not pushing all the way over is so helpful. There's rarely a night that I go to sleep without lip balm on. I have four, four I want to share with you that are sort of magical to me. I'll start with the priciest one. I bought this just to use as a comparison product to try to find you something more affordable. And I'll show you the closest I've found, but this is the Tatcha. Now this ran, I think $24. I've seen this for so many years. I just finally said, I'm gonna buy it and see if I can find a dupe. Now what's unique about this is the texture. It's almost jelly-like. So as you, you can see my fingers stretching here and the product stretching. So it's very uh, emollient. It stays on the lips. It never feels sticky, even though it has that stick. As you wear it, it doesn't feel sticky. And it leaves my lips feeling very nice in the morning. But I feel like I get pretty much the same results, different texture from other products that I use. One I really like is this Uglow. Now this is the same company that makes the Beauty Hacks mask that I talked about forever. I still love that one. This is the closest that I found to the Tatcha. This has a little bit more of um, a feel like a traditional lip balm. It's not quite as sticky, which a lot of you may like better, but there is some stick to it like the Tatcha. Now this is in a vanilla scent, which I love. It feels beautiful on the lips. So as far as a dupe for the Tatcha, I would say this is the closest I've found. Two more lip products I want to talk about. I did have to buy this because it smells like a gummy bear and I do love gummy bears. This is from Laneige. Now Laneige is a K-Beauty brand. I didn't realize that till more recently as I was reading more about the company. But this has the traditional sort of plastic tubing that's on a slant where you can go right on the lips. You don't have to dip your finger into the product. I really love this. I wear it round in the day and I just really like the scent. Now, another one that I feel is great if you have dry lips is this from Aven. This is their balm. It's uh, called Sika Calfate. I think that's how you say it. 
but it almost has a white look to it on the skin but that fades and your own color comes through but this is very gr uh, great if you've got chapped lips i think you would really enjoy this event to me everything i've tried has worked really well and i think it's a great quality product i also wanted to mention this robe that i bought fairly recently, really Little Poet was my inspiration. She used to wear some robes like this on her channel. I love Little Poet. Susan and I are such good friends and it just feels amazing. So I'll have the link for that as well. I wish you all a blessed and beautiful week. Tell me what you do when you go to sleep at night. What do you make sure to put on? One thing I didn't mention was a hand cream. I like to put on hand cream and cream on my feet. So I will link the Pyeong Kang Yule. That's a very affordable brand. And I really try to do that at night, especially the feet. And I will put socks on before I go to bed so that my feet will be very hydrated in the morning. Tell me your secrets. I'd love to hear them. And I'll see you soon. Love you all.